No, no, this wins. Yeah, I, I just, I, I hide, I hide and I shield again. We just got, oh my God, I just blundered 92. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, here we go. Round number one. We're playing Andrew's Tribesman. I got to minimize chat, of course. Not allowed to look at chat. Um, okay, let's go Knight F3 here. Gonna keep it simple. Uh, let's go B3. Okay, let's play E3, Bishop B2. Uh, maybe like maybe D4, maybe G3. Hmm. It's an FM 2500. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more solid. Now, I wish I could use the extension, but it, it doesn't work. Um, uh, in live chess for some reason. So it's kind of sad that I can't use my face, uh, uh, my, my face as a set, but unlike Puzzle Rush, for whatever reason, it just doesn't work in live chess. So pretty standard. The only difference is our bishops. Otherwise, it's a complete mirror. My bishop on d3 has more scope, I think. So I'm going to go knight e5 here. Let's see if he trades or not. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if knight e5 is a good move. Probably I should have just played c4, but whatever. He goes c5. I guess I'll trade. Knight have 395. It's funny though because after using those pieces, now for some reason the pieces here look very um they look different. They, they I don't know if it, I like the, I don't know if it's dimensions or what, but they, they look a little bit different. So okay, now I can always trade if I want to. I think I am gonna trade here on C5. Takes with a pawn. It's kind of interesting. I didn't think he would do that. Okay. Um I guess I'll go Queen C2 here. I'll pre-move pawn takes pawn. I, I don't really expect him to play d4, but he could. He does it interesting. Okay, so now I will go uh rook a1, guard the knight, probably bishop d6, f4. And I think I'm a little bit better here. I mean, actually for a computer, I'm probably not, but at least from a human perspective, I feel like I'm I'm doing completely fine here. Maybe I'm gonna slide to d1, and the reason I go d1 versus e2 is because this pesky bishop b4 move. I want to be able to maybe go rookie two, maybe go f4. Although, yeah, I might have misplayed this just slightly. I think it's okay, but uh, queen a5 uh, is an interesting choice. Not the move I would have played, that's for sure. Um, okay, now if I go a3, bishop a3, queen a1, bishop b4. I mean, that might actually be a3 takes queen a1, bishop b4, queen b4 takes rook a1. Bishop b6, b4, c5. That might actually be good. Hard, hard to play, and I, I don't really want to get too deep into the weeds. So I'm going to play queen b1 here. This way, this way, I guard the pawn on a2. Not that I need to, um, but I guard the pawn. Maybe a3 is an idea. Okay, now he goes rook c5. I will just play f4 to guard the knight. Again, there's probably some a3 trick in here. There's some some wrinkle. It goes back to c8, which looks terrible. Um, he's kind of asking me to attack him. I also can play a3 here now, potentially, but I don't really want to. So I think I'm just going to go f5. I'm just going to get aggressive here and attack. Plays rook e8, which maybe is a good move. Maybe I actually, maybe I shouldn't have done this. But if I take and go rook f5, wait a second. Wait a second. Um... I think I'm gonna go Queen C1 here. I, I I actually am moving way too slowly, by the way. I'm trying to look for the tactic here with Knight F7. That's what I'm I'm angling for a trick. Okay, Rook D8 is a mistake because now I have A3 to kick the bishop, which I think he also kind of missed. And now once I get B4, C5, the pawns are starting to roll a little bit. I think. Yeah. I, now I go B4, attack the queen. Takes. Of course, I have to take with a queen, obviously. Queen c7, logical move. Um, I am still better here, but this is not... This is not the dream. Okay, I think I'm just going to go here and take. Yeah, this really is not what I wanted, actually. Hmm. But I do have my three pawns in the center of the board, which are rolling up the board kind of nicely. It goes rookie seven. Does not look like the right move here. Um, really, the key here is I need to find uh, I need to find a way to activate or get my knight somewhere better. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go c5. Just take more space here. Um, 
If EF5, I can still just take. He goes rookie eight. So if I take. But now I have knight c4, knight d6, and I plop the uh, plop the levy on d6. Uh, levy, of course, is the knight in the other set, which is where the where this joke comes from for anybody who just tuned in. Um, let's just take. And now I go knight d6, and of course, I should be doing great. Knight d6. Now, I also have a connect four here, so it's quite good. Should just be winning here pretty soon. trade um I can take with the bishop on f5 I can also go bishop c4 knight b7 and c6 also maybe is winning um c3 knight c5 knight d5 rook f5 I think this is winning so I'm just gonna go for it because now I'm just pushing p straight up the board and I have this knight move to block the rook from winning the pawn yeah, I just want to go here, block, shield the pawn, and run the pawn up the board. I assume this is winning. It goes rook c3. Now I shield the shield the pawn. I'm just gonna push up the board. I'm shielding it very nicely. His king is too far away to get over as well. So he goes f8. I go here. He's one square too late. Actually, even if he could get over, it wouldn't matter. But I, I guess now I just take the pawn. And I feel like this knight is very, very loose here. My knight is so well placed here that he's going to he's gonna actually lose because I, I can basically sack the rook for the knight. Like king f8, rook e8, and c7 wins. Go here. And I'm just going to keep chasing the horse forever. Let's go here. Okay, now the question is, do I push c7 or do I take? I think c7 looks right. Let's go here to attack the knight and then I go check takes GG why not one up one down so far so good unfortunately I'm not going to get a get an Anna Rudolph because he oh maybe I am he's going to let me queen let's go check take and mate easy peasy okay there we go one up one down we win our first game let's pull up chat um okay so we got the win in round number one let's see what else do we have um and you had a fan of five times for the 14 the chai town for the 16 zero cents for the nine the high man for the nine they get a coldie for the prime appreciate it. nice work champ thank you so much um so yes yeah, so we get the winner round number one let's see who else is playing uh Mechanic is winning not an exciting game uh these are reggie reggie mcball bags for the 10 months let's watch doobie doobie doo doobie doobie doo is if doobie doobie doo can win this pawn at a5 he'll win the game if not um it's also e6 somewhere wait what king g2 King, King G1. This is going to be a draw, by the way. King G2. King G1. Oh, wait. No, wait. Sorry. He hung the pawn. Oh, wait, wait. He hung the pawn. What, what am I talking about? Never mind. No, now, now Dubov's going to win. The funny thing is, it's probably still a draw. Wait, what did he do? Anyway. All right. So... Bishop g5 you have to go Bishop g5 I think this was a draw if he if he put the Bishop on g5 now there's gonna be some way to win with e4 or Queen d2 yeah King c4 and King b4 wins all right so moving on um let's see what else do we have oh let's just take a look at the standings Nihal and Wesley obviously are playing Fabiano is not playing of course and neither is uh Magnus Carlson I think they're in route to the Grand Chester event being held in Zagreb Croatia so that's that, those of you guys who are wondering um yeah that, that's that's what's going on so uh Ali Reza not playing Ali Reza is also playing the Grand Chess Tour I believe as well if I'm not mistaken So, all right. Yeah. Uh, Magnus already in Zagreb. I wouldn't know you guys. Um, but yeah, all those guys are playing the Grand Chess Tour. Um, so that's, there's that. Bornig is playing. I don't know, but there are only two rounds left in round number one. Why aren't you playing the Chess Tour? Because you guys, I will say this for the millionth time uh, today, once again, I'm not a professional chess player. I am a streamer. This is my main job. It's how I make my money. This is my job. Uh, I make more income streaming than I do playing chess. So why on earth would I play chess every month, travel around the world on and on and on, and I have to stress and worry and deal with all that stuff when I can actually have a real job and enjoy my life? 
Let's be serious. Oh, and when I get bored, I can obviously play chess tournaments and do well. But that's that's beside the point. So, all right, let's go. Round number two. Here we go. Um, okay, got to minimize chat. Okay, let's get going. Okay, D4. Um, okay, 2630, FM, Sargus, MV. Let's play G6, Bishop, G7. Uh, right, let's play the B feeder. I know it's a bad opening, but you know what? It's, it's July 4th. It, today is America Day. We celebrate America. We celebrate Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest where all those dudes go and try to down five gajillion uh, hot dogs. So um, we, we celebrate America Day America Day today. So I got to play a very beef, beef, beefy opening like the beef eater. It's very American. Um, now, I can actually take the pawn, but I think I'm going to play uh, knight to f6 here instead. I assume Joey Chestnut is going to win again. I, I haven't, obviously, in recent times I haven't followed, but um, I assume he's going to win. because so I saw some interview on CNN last night where I think he's going for his 15th win in 16 years. But actually, you know, uh, there there was a, there one of the one of the guys in the contest, one of the hot dog eating guys. Uh, he's, a, he's a competitive eater. Actually does stream on Twitch or he used to during the pandemic. This guy, Matt Stoney. And I have watched a few of his YouTube videos. So it'd be kind of cool if, if Matt Stoney could win. But I assume Joey Chest Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. Chestnut is gonna win, um, is going to win uh going to win the hot dog eating contest. But who knows? Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna go here in Bishop A4 and Night BD7. Or 96 in castles. Don't like my position at all here, by the way. Um, I think I'm going to go queen c7. I don't know what I'm doing this game. This is actually very ugly. Let's go bishop g4, attack the knight. Okay, castle, so of course I take. Now I go knight d7, and now I castle, and now I'm fine. Because now I block here the dark square, and I mean, his bishop on d3 isn't great. Now he does get open open lanes this for the for the two towers and stuff, but I'm going to get a grip on e5, and I'm going to play against this terrible light square bishop, so I think I'm doing quite well here. Let's go knight g4, knight e5, of course. It's not like this is necessarily winning, by the way, but just castle... I just want to get my king out of dodge before it gets too late. A6, B6 could be played. Not really all that worried about it, but we'll see what he does here. He goes Bishop G5. I assume I should play... I have Rook E8 here. I think Rook E8 is a good move. The reason is I guard the pawn. If he goes to F7, then I have Knight E5. And I'm just going to kick the Bishop out of town. The Bishop is... I'm going to kick the Botez out of town. Right? Bishop was Botez on the set, I think. So let's go knight e5 and then h6 g5. Kick the bishop away. It can't spy the pawn. Um, so get out of town. And I go g5, maybe g4 here. Again, I, I don't know if this is actually winning necessarily. Um, probably I should play a6 and create the weakness on a5, I think. I don't know if this is right, but it feels kind of correct to create the weakness. I'm worried that if he gets a6, b6, there's never a spot where a6, b6, the pawn becomes weak on a6. So let's just go here. I'm going to move my king out of the way. Maybe I'll, I will probably go g5, just I'm waiting for the right time. Uh, let's go here. Queen a4, good move. Because um, also at some point I can go b6 and create a pass pawn in the end game too. So let's just go like, I don't know, rook d8, rook ef8 not df8 rook ef8 probably i'll trade and go like knight f6 maybe g5 is a move as well maybe i just play queen d8 and play an end game yeah i think actually here i'm happy with an end game so i think long term i'm going to be able to create an outside pass pawn and win this game maybe i'm wrong but i i don't really care i literally don't care to be more precise goes rook b1 okay now i should obviously trade a set of rooks now there are no mate threats either very vital here let's go knight f6 put pressure on the pawn at e4 position's improving a lot for me he's kind of misplayed this he's number one he should have played a6 b6 he way back um number one way back here he should he should have played a6 included a6 b6 that was a bit that was a big mistake now if i take Huh? Maybe I'm missing something, but it just looks like a free pawn. The C3 is weak. 
queen v3 i assume i go knight d6 lock the knight down hold the hold the juicer and now i can push the pawn it's pretty ugly for white let's go here now i hold the pawn and he doesn't actually have any any mate threats so eventually i'm just gonna go like uh um do i want to go e4 rook f8 i think i don't necessarily love e4 but i think e4 is completely fine because i also have knight c8 and then queen a5 down the road this should be winning b2 let's go rook f8 i don't know what queen uh actually let's just keep pushing the p with e3 oh he's got push buff through which i actually missed but oh do i have flash taxes with takes in 94 takes queen g3 and e2 i think i do have flash tactics maybe oh no but rook g6 ah uh, no he's got rook g6 so let's just go g5 i just i use rook g6 to cover the check now again i feel like there should be some tactics here but where's the mate 94 king e2 huh go here kind of misplayed this a little bit there's no actual forced win I don't know what that does yeah I just take okay easy all right we got the win two out of two um let's just take two out of two pretty good so far okay he's playing on just take check gg why not good check and here and just like rook b2 c4 just push the p up the board there we go all right we got the win two out of two uh, I don't know if that was on purpose doing the Botez Gambit or not, but we get the win. So, two out of two. So far, so good. Thank you so much to Crispy for the 29 month Risa, Bazzini for the 12, Haas for the 22, Bulldogs for the five, Dr. Carl forgot for the Prime, and E. Pasca with the Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, two out of two. Let's keep going. So, all right, two out of two. So far, so good. Nihal won his game. Let's see who else is still playing. Okay, Denla's still going. I think there's a Hurtful Jeweler for the 23, Blypo for the 5, they need to ZZ for the Prime. Okay, what is this? This looks, uh, Black will probably win the game, even though this is technically a draw. Happy America Day from the Canary Islands. Thank you so much. Did I follow the game between Anish and Bach? No, I might, I might take a look at that after it ends. Um, um, I might take a look afterwards. Okay, two connected pawns, black wins here. Uh, no, I didn't take a look. Yeah. So, I have your face on my weight skills, just don't care what they show. Good one. But yeah, anyway, today, today of course, July 4th, of course. So today is... Um... So, um... Anyway, where was I? I forget. Yeah, today's July 4th, obviously. So today, of course, uh, uh, Independence Day here in America. So we're celebrating. It's uh, it's 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 a holiday. Um, Magnus not interested in Title Tuesday. Magnus is um, Magnus is uh, in Zagra for the Grand Chess Tour. That's what he's doing there. Uh, I didn't complete it in sub one hour. It was very close, but then I fell off the dragon. Um, yeah, I, I fell off the dragon. So anyway. So, um, anyway, yeah. Uh, Zagreb has internet too, you know? Yes, I know Zagreb has internet, you guys. I I'm aware of that, but... So, um, but I, I, I think, um, I, th I think, uh, what is this? Hillary playing Rostein. It's like a draw. White gets pawned to A6. Um, but yeah, they're playing the Grand Chess Tour, of course. And so because of that, they're, it starts tomorrow as well, just to be clear. Grand Chess Tour starts tomorrow. So, um, yeah, you, you guys are acting all, all weird about these things. I don't know why. But thank you so much to Alpha Hog for the Prime. The Dragon came for the Egg, exactly, yeah. Uh, King D1, King up one, all the same. Any chance you'll go to Beal? Unlikely, unlikely. Uh, Grand Chester starts tomorrow, yeah. But yeah, I mean, anyone who's asking, I, I told you guys why. Because I'm not a professional chess player. I'm a streamer. 
I, I mean, casually, like casually, I do play professional tournaments. Obviously, I, like I played Norway chess as an example. Uh, I think Black's gonna win this game somehow. By the way, so um, okay, Rook A two, Rook takes A five. Um, but yeah, I am just a, uh, I am just a, uh, just a casual. Um, I'm just a casual, casual chess enjoyer. Play tournaments here or there, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I mean, I don't go out of my way to play like the Grand Chess Tour. They do AL for 49 months. I mean, frankly, it's it's not worth it for me. That's a simple answer. Yeah, thank you so much to Asterisk FPS for the four months. Oh. Like Bishop F7, Bishop H7. Uh, what is content though? It's content. Yeah, you could say that, you guys. But at the at the end of the day, um, I said before one of the things that I really enjoy about um about about when I play tournaments is that, like I'm not playing every single week, every single month. Um, and so when when I do have the chance to play, a Rosh team missed a win. Maybe he did. I don't know. But um, what I was gonna say is that you know when I play, like chess is fun. It's fresh. When you go travel like every single week to play tournaments, you play the same. You see the same people over and over again. You look at the same openings over and over again. Chess becomes very boring, very monotonous. It's not enjoyable. So when people ask me, it's like you think, oh yeah, just go play, go play. I mean, I want to enjoy chess. Like traveling all over the world nonstop at, at my age is not is not um it's not as much fun as it used to be when I was younger. So yeah, people people always uh people always are making way too big of a deal out of it. Yeah, not get 50 million that if they give him 40k for they give him 40k for Grand Chester first. Very funny, you guys. Very funny. But yeah, you know, at the end of the day, um, when are we hitting 50 moves? By the way, geez, way too many. Yeah. Jeez, and was that move 50? By the way, when was the pawn captured? The pawn was captured on move number 99. So he was uh. He was four moves short of 50 moves. I don't know what that was. But anyway, all right, let's go. Round number three. Let's keep going. All right. Uh, let's keep going with Knight F3. Just keep it simple. We're playing Novak Kappa Barca. Okay, I'll play B3 again. Simple stuff. Let's go D4, E3. Okay, I'm gonna go Bishop E2 castles. Come on, Novak, make a move. Okay, he goes, he goes A5. I guess I'll play C4. I mean, he can go A4, B4, and we get some weird structure, but not too worried. I could have played A3 also potentially, but who cares? I mean, I mean the bro thinks he's like Novak Djokovic or something. Okay, come on, make a move, dude. Come on, Novak. Okay, let's go A4 or A4, B4. I mean, he can go C5, A3, and it's a little bit unclear what's going on, but um, I should be fine here. I'm going to try to win this pawn at A4. I, I, basically, I'm arguing the pawn at A4 is slightly weak here down the road. That's what I'm arguing. But we will see, of course, whether that's actually true. Queen B6, interesting. Now, I could trade and play B5. In fact, but what I want to do, trade and B5. I'm just trying to figure out the logic of this. I could also castle and gambit the pawn temporarily. Go Bishop C3. Could also just play B5 right away and not trade. But I think if I go B5 right away, at some point he's going D5. Hard to judge. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually trade. I'm gonna trade and go B5. I don't. I feel like even though he gets a tempo with Rook D8, I want the structure. I think if I play B5 right away, at some point there's some D5 trick that really that really becomes complicated. It goes 94, which is interesting. That's not the move I was expecting, but maybe that's actually a very good move. Uh, let's go here. Not Queen C2 because of Bishop F5, of course. Could play Knight, knight F D2 maybe and take. He is playing this pretty well so far. I actually feel like maybe he's studied this line. It feels like some kind of weird prep. 
let's take okay now after castles yeah now after castle I get exactly what I want here he goes knight f6 so move I can take and go f3 yeah he's kind of misplaying so I also have bishop f3 but I'm just gonna go f3 kick the knight out and then play like e4 maybe yeah, e4 has got to be right because I have e5 somewhere still not really all that great actually mm. I think I'm gonna go e... I guess I'll just play knight d2 keep it simple and like rook ad1 or something maybe rook fd1 actually is better I don't know if I like my position that much but if I get e5 I mean e5 is a move here I'm gonna go for it I, I don't know if it's right but I'm gonna go for it and I do have 94 here maybe like 94 maybe hmm hmm I have misplayed this quite a bit I think it's not what I want to do yeah I'm, I'm not very happy with my position here but I'll go back hit the pawn maybe go like rookie one hit the bishop but now there's 94 back and now there's some tricks yeah he just blunt I think this is just a blunder I know this is an outright blunder but it's takes queen b6 uh maybe there's still no clean cut way to takes queen b6 and then something on the diagonal could be an issue not quite what I wanted but okay let's keep going okay I'm gonna go queen f2 to go queen h4 hit the two pawns now I can also take because I close the diagonal as well there's no threats there are no threats on the diagonal so if I get queen h4 I'm in great great shape I'm hitting both the pawns of course it's also a classic right triangle 90 degrees obviously so if I if I get the if I get the triangle I win the game thank you thank you thank you thank you for this thank you for the five dollars okay in the meantime while I try to reset and focus here um let's take I think this is okay I mean maybe I'm oh I'm actually a moron I should have just gone queen h4 queen H4. what the heck oh wait no sorry if I go queen h4 there's g5 never mind I'm I'm, I'm crazy okay it goes back to a7 so I play rookie eight rookie eight I also have knight b7 yeah let's take I mean I guess he can take with the king but that looks kind of insane it does wow okay go check a 94 okay now I'm just up a pawn I mean objectively I should probably win this down the road it's fine doesn't concern me um let's go h4 could have played f4 too I guess goes queen c5 or knight 96 sorry not queen c5 I'm actually misplaying this um yeah I have not played this well got to pick up the speed here okay now I have bishop c4 maybe that's a I think that's a mistake I have c6 and b6 maybe Check, wait takes check king g3 rook here rookie four no no this wins yeah I, I just I I hide I hide and I shield again we just got oh my god I just blundered 92 oh my god oh my god oh that's a huge blunder by me ay 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 oh my god what was that it's just a draw oh my god that was so bad I'm gonna try to win the game still um oh, I'm playing like garbage 
I'm playing like garbage. What am I doing? That was horrible. That's ridiculous. Oh my God. Yeah, I gotta wake up. That was horrible. Yeah, I am going to barbecue tonight. That was horrible. I mean, that's horrible. I mean, after after he after after I was completely winning to throw it. King G ah King G one. Ah, that was terrible. Ah, because now rookie four. I have yes. Now it's not check. Yes, instead of King G three. No, I'm I'm losing my mind. Like I didn't even see rook G six there. That's hilarious. Yeah. No, I mean I I just I just missed that. Uh, I missed the, I missed that it was check. I was very, but then it's just a draw, and for some reason, like in my mind, I'm like, okay, I have to do something stupid to keep the game going. That was pathetic. Yeah, that was pathetic. Um, yeah, that was really, really horrible. Eh, whatever. Uh, yeah. I mean, of course, rook g5 is ridiculous. I just go rook a5, and I mean, we take, and it's just a draw. I just, I, I threw in the check because uh, for some reason, I, I, I thought I would do it this way, but it doesn't make any difference. It's still a draw anyway. No, it was horrible. Um, Levy got his content for the day. What content? From the game? I, I highly doubt that. I mean, you guys you guys really don't understand if you think that's content. Thank you, Amaral, for the Prime. Thank you, Trilogy. Thank you, G Gator. Thank you, Mushy Bananas. Thank you, Trixax for the 12th. Thank you, Trevi Train again for the $5. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Trevi Train. Why I resigned? Because I just hung A3, A2. That's why. Um, Lovey loves when you lose to an I am okay. I, I know you guys are trying to be funny, but I, I will give you guys one little lecture, even though you're joking. Uh, I'll give you one lecture, very, very clear lecture. Anyone who thinks that any video makes content, you don't understand. It requires specific people because the, as far as clicks go, you have to have certain players playing the game in order for it to be clickbait, for it to be like content or hype content specifically. Yeah. Any, anyone who like makes that joke and things like any game matters. It doesn't, it doesn't. Um, no, of, of course I didn't see it. I mean, I didn't see his interview with PBS. I don't watch PBS and I'm not trying, I'm not trying to be rude, but I mean, like who watches TV anymore? I mean, seriously, who watches TV? Yeah. But you guys are trying to be very weird. So whatever. That's very disappointing though. Cause I was winning after C5 Bishop C4. King G3 was such a bad move. I probably would have won that even if I didn't play rookie four. Yeah. T TV is goaded. TV is goaded. Yeah. 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 TV is go to, I mean, TV is fine, but I mean, like, I don't, I mean, I mean, I just, who, who watches TV anymore? Ser serious, serious answer. Like who watches TV anymore? Nobody does. Everyone watches like YouTube, etc. cetera. Yeah. So, um, people, people reach out to TV interviews, not the other way around. Thank you so much for Sparky for the prime. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, no, I just mean like I, I honestly I, I haven't watched. I mean I watch sports. I'll, I'll watch ESPN every so often when there's a big game or TNT or stuff like that. But I mean watching actual news shows. I mean yeah, not not my thing. Um, not a lot of very strong participants. It's a little bit weaker than usual. Of course, I just threw away my game for no reason in the last round. But um, still plenty of games can play play well and qualify or not qualify win the event. Um, but yeah. So anyway. Like rook c4, rook a7, or rook g1, rook f1 will be a draw. Um, throwing for content, nah, no, nah, I just, I mean, I just lost. I, I went blind for, I went blind on a couple of moves in that game. It wasn't just one game. Uh, how can I watch the Grand Chess Tour? Um, you can watch a Grand Chess Tour. Uh, I'll probably be covering it tomorrow when I'm streaming on kick. That's my, that's my assumption. Okay, now I just need to win this game and get back. Get back at least into some kind of groove. I'm going to actually move really fast this game. Don't really want to think. Because specifically when I started thinking about the last game, I started making mistakes. Okay, let's go here, here. Actually, I shouldn't pre-move this because he could take. It's a little bit weird. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to sack the rook. With knight takes c4, I don't care. I'm just going to sack a rook. He can take and take the, take the rook on a and I don't care. It was d3 okay of course i take oh he wants a sack a rook that's funny too hmm i mean i i probably can win no matter what i do but i i, I don't want to get get into some kind of weird situation so i'm gonna go knight of six and sack a rook as well he can take the rook or not take the rook 
I'm going to give him the opportunity to sack. I I'm going to sack my own rook. I didn't take his rook, so now I'm going to let him take my rook. I don't think he will, but I'll pre-move it just in case. Maybe, 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 maybe he will. This rook's c1. Go just castle. This bishop g2. Okay, I guess I'm going to play a4. Don't know if a4 is a good move. Could be a good move. Could be a bad move. Who knows? Let's go here. Hit the bishop. Which should be two, maybe c5, maybe knight c5, knight b3. We'll see what he does. Bishop e3. Okay, now there is bishop b2 here. Maybe there's also just c5. Maybe, actually, no, maybe c6 is right. Okay, I'm lucky. He had knight d4, which I think was just winning. Um, but he didn't he didn't do it, so it, it all works out. Um just go here, and I guess I'm gonna play bishop b7 after knight d4. There's bishop d4 interesting, okay. Um now I'm gonna go knight c5. If takes I take, if takes I just take with the king. See what he does. I could have also gone bishop h6 first, maybe, but who cares? It's e3, okay. Um, I'm gonna go knight b3 to attack his rook. Takes, I take, okay. Good, good knight on on b3 i'm now going to angle it try to win the knight on f3 maybe rook c8 next move you guys are right when i look at the standings like i don't see jospin there there are quite a few top players missing today from from title tuesday it is july 4th so i mean probably a lot of them are also celebrating actually that makes no sense because we're chess players chess players don't celebrate let's play rook c8 okay put pressure on the pawn maybe rook a5 also of course chess very international not really very american centric so it'd be kind of weird okay now by going rook a5 there's no h5 here so i'll win this game slowly but surely don't want to spend too much time it was e4 which probably hangs a pawn but i also don't really want to just blunder so let's go I think I'm gonna slide the queen to a7 put more pressure on this diagonal now it also stops knight d4 because my knight on b3 is much better than this knight specifically because of the control over the square thank you for the sub man appreciate it this is of course three one so he shouldn't be able to flag but he probably will Okay, 20 seconds of counting knight g5 logical let's go h6 attack the knight it goes back to f3 i think i'm just going to retreat my bishop here and now open up scope on the c file let's go here pressure on the pawn it's gonna be too good move ah great i blundered that go here attack the queen go here guard the pawn now let's go uh, I think rook d7 with the idea of rook d2 is very good I have rook d2 I thought <clears throat> and now I just won the game go back I could have probably even taken the pawn but no need to let's take okay resigns we get the win okay three out of four again not 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 a great start but it's decent um thank you so much a crazy coffee man for the 32 month reset thank you so much crazy coffee man 
okay so okay three out of four not a great start but it is what it is um all right let's see so a bunch of people on four out of four let's see how many games are going america yes wesley is playing wesley is losing a pair oh is this the is this the fried liver oh this is an interesting game by the way you guys this is the fry this is the fried liver that uh fabiano and i had this is the fried liver from norway chess last round okay wesley goes f5 wesley did a course on this by the way with this whole f5 line okay ready this is like a wild line no one knows what's going on okay and wesley's getting uh he's rook f3 and rookie five oh man rookie five Ooh, wesley is getting absolutely hammered here in the in the fried liver getting absolutely hammered where was the queen sack yeah crescent moves sack the queen and he's just like he's just blowing wesley off the face of the earth bishop d2 Ooh. Ooh. I think there's a Kaplan for the six months. I think it's a Bees I think this is Yu Yang Yi, right? Or is this a uh, win? Is this Scotty win? Ah, this is Scotty win. Okay, never mind. Um, one of the other players. But yeah, Wesley gets absolutely torched in the fried liver. Yeah, he just gets absolutely torched. Which, by the way, for anyone who's wondering, this is one of the reasons that I played this opening against Fabiano, is because when you get in some of these variations in the in this fried liver line, it gets wildly out of control, and you never know what's going to happen. Like, black can be better, white can be better, but you get a very wild and imbalanced game, which is why, um, which is why when I played Fabiano, I was happy to go into this opening. Because you have positions like this where it's just wildly out of control. Like, I guess white's winning here, but it's just so out of control that you don't know what's going on. And, um, and that last round game against Fabiano, if I lost the game, it wouldn't have made any difference, whereas a win would have won me the tournament. So, uh, th this game also kind of shows why it's so, so sharp. And why it's so aggressive so wesley gets absolutely steamrolled off the face of the earth in that game dubov is playing grand delicious so that's a draw um yeah so let's see what's happening in the other games i won my game but i i threw an easy draw in round three yeah threw an easy draw yeah last round of norway chess why am i streaming on kick on tuesdays i always stream on twitch that's why yeah on tuesdays i always stream on twitch that's just how it is see mechanic king here knight g7 h3 d5 oh knight f6 wins on uh, 94 and knight knight oh knight f3 knight h2 wow okay here we go round number five i don't get it the best of, or no that's a cm sorry i thought that's a gm it's a cm what am i doing okay so pretty good easy pairing around five or it should be so just need to keep winning that's it and since the field is a little bit soft i i mean the field wow there's a 2500 on four out of four that's insane it's 2549 on four out of four fm wow definitely a soft field then let's go work c1 normally i wouldn't play like this but um let's go b4 I think I'm actually gonna go b5 if he plays a5 I don't, I don't know for sure but I think I'm gonna go b5 we'll see yeah I'm gonna go b5 I mean a3 is also completely fine I suspect but whatever who cares wait a second 94 wait a second this looks wrong but again like I'm using I don't want to use all day here coming up with a line this looks wrong but I don't know how to punish it okay fine whatever just just move just move could have played Bishop actually why did I just go Bishop a3 yeah what am I doing I could have just played Bishop a3 here I'm not I'm not playing very well actually a little bit a little bit flat here okay of course I can take with a queen actually 
I think I should take with a queen. The reason I should take with a queen is because I can go bishop d3 to hold the rook. And then I finish my development, and there's perfect harmony. Okay, it's got e5, which I also, of course, conveniently un overlooked. Or did I? Maybe there's queen c1 and bishop a3. Ah, maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I'm a little bit lucky here. I'm lucky because I have bishop a3, and then I then I hit the rook and the queen. It's going to work out, but I'm not not thrilled by my play. I guess I have to go here. This is not the dream. Let's put it that way. Why didn't I also, I mean, I should just take with a knight here. I don't know why I didn't just take with a knight. This is actually ridiculous. I, I might just be in real trouble. Gotta move. This is like no joke. I, I might be in real trouble in this game. Gotta take. That's okay. Finally, there's a slight mistake. Finally, a little bit of a mistake. Because now I think I'm going to finally get developed. Oh, did I just wonder Bishop A4? No, I didn't. Okay. Maybe I take with a knight on B1. I, I don't know. I'll probably take with a queen just because cover the C4 square, but not super enthused. Rook B8, but now I have Queen A1. Now I line up the classic attack. Goes a4, which doesn't look right, but I'm just going to castle, get my king out of dodge. Um, okay, goes f6, maybe like rook c1. Now, now that I've castled, I'll just be able to smoothly coast to victory. I think f4 is a good move. Knight f7, I just take. Knight c4, I take. Knight g4, I just take. Yeah, this, this, this is very good for me. Take. Wait, but takes, takes king f1. I don't know, I don't know what the best way to win is, but I'm just going to take this smooth, smooth and slow with bishop d4, knight h6. Okay, now, if I take king h1, queen 2 I, I mean, I assume this is winning. I mean, he's down too many thingies here. Everything is hanging, I think. Takes now, of course, I just... Oh, if I take d4... Wait. No, I just... I d4, I just take. Checkmate. There we go. All right, I get the win. Not the best game I've ever played. I probably was in real trouble somewhere around here. Yeah, already. I'm, so somewhere around here, I was in trouble, but I find a way to get the win. Four out of five. Not the best thing we've ever seen, but it'll do. Yeah.